How do you feel about um, people calling you the best? You know, because you've pretty much for the last two years shown that, that you are the best. So how do you feel about that? Uh, actually, I don't, I don't feel like like that. You know, I don't see myself like like the best. More kind of like lucky uh, than best, you know, because like I'm really training hard and really like doing it, you know. It's been worth, you know, it's been paid off. My biggest motivator was like my father. He always like pushed me to to train. So some some point of my life I stopped training to surf. You know, he got he got pissed. I was training like one time a week and surfing. Seven, seven times a week. And when I was 15, I decided to come back to train. And it's funny because like 10 years later, I'm traveling around the world. I'm speaking like another language. I'm meeting people every single day, new people, new countries, new cities, you know? So Jiu Jitsu brought me all the good side of, of life and all my dreams. So. Everything that I have today or I have done is because of Jiu-Jitsu and that's amazing. One thing that I can say is that I've competing a lot since like 2005 and I remember like my 10 first tournaments I lost in the really very first round. For 10 tournaments I never had like the feeling of getting my arm ready. You know, I thought about give up like two times, you know, and I had a good instructor that told me the right words and this guy came to me and said, you know what, you can you can be the the weak one and give up right now and quit. It's up to you. Or you can show up Monday in the gym and start training again. And that's why I came back. And the next tournament I won was my first one I made that I won uh, like ever. So a good advice is like never give up. Like keep doing, give your best. If you really deserve your time is gonna come. It just depends on how hard you try and how hard how bad you want. Be me I always want to finish the fight, especially because if I finish the fight I have more time to like rest or I don't like get tired so much for the next fight you know but nowadays i think i i don't know because like i kind of feel like i have a big target on my back so everybody wants like kind of like meet me you know so the guys don't want to fight the guys hold and want to hold for like 10 minutes and they don't even want to win they just don't want to lose by like submission i feel like that you know that's why when i fight guys that want to submit me I, want, I like to fight, you know, it's more like risky, I know it's like, it's more like dangerous because when I fight these guys that don't want to fight, it becomes like hard for me too, you know, so they, just one guy trying to fight is hard, then I like to, you know, do like exciting matches, but sometimes the guy like avoids that, yeah. so it's not my fault, you know, but I really go to the finish, you know, to like end the fight. I think the first time that I beat Rodolfo was kind of like really, really intense for me because the year before in 2011, he took me out of the, the game, you know, he, he got my arm, so I went to the shower early, you know, on that day, so, and I had just to watch the final from the stands. And one year later, I fought him like really in the, early in the bracket and I won and I feel like was like that was the final you know what I mean because it was a like great feeling I knew that it would be like one of the toughest match <laughs> and one more was fighting against Roger you know? because like Roger was the like was no is the live legend of the Jiu Jitsu and a chance to compete against him was kind of thing that I'm never gonna forget too. You know, so I'm, I am the same person that I was in 2006. I've seen like a lot of people changing because like a medal or like a title. You know, I think karma, you know, is right there. So 
if you change, if you start like being, you know, too much different, thinking that you're better than anybody because of like a piece of metal or like a title, karma is gonna be right there to remind you who you are, you know, so that's why I know after some years it's gonna be like a new guy so Bishesh is gonna be one more old school guy so you know I, I know that so that's why I don't change and that's why I keep the same person a lot of people call me like the new school right but really I see myself like a defensor of the old school you know because for me Jiu Jitsu is take down, sweep Pass the guard, knee on the bat, in mount, finish. Get the back, finish. People nowadays, I see they trying to get like the shortcut, you know. They pull guard and want to get the back right away. So I think that's not like Jiu Jitsu, you know. So I mean, I, I, I'm not against, you know, the new stuff. You can't like depend just about that, you know. So you have black belt, you're really good doing the new stuff the cool stuff, you know, but you, you, if you don't get this, you're not gonna get anything, mm -hmm. you know, so I think Jiu Jitsu can depend like that, mm -hmm. especially because a lot of people is getting like the wrong impression, you know, because they think that's how oh, that's the new Jiu Jitsu, no, it's not the new Jiu Jitsu, it's just one more new technique, mm -hmm. I, I need to, to learn, like, that's why I train too, but my Jiu Jitsu is not focused on that, you know. If I try to do, if I try to do that, it didn't work, all right. I have like many options, I have many variations, I have many other things. Jiu Jitsu is not a professional sport, you know, the competitions start paying more, so the fighters start getting paid better. But for you get paid, you gotta win. So it's like, you know, the two sides of the coin. But the main tournament of the world doesn't pay anything, you know, so make you think about about that, you know, like someday I'm gonna stop like stop winning, you know. I don't know how it's gonna be tomorrow. And I think that's why the big tournaments are losing the big names for MMA. Because of money, you know, because Jiu Jitsu is our passion, you know, our love, so there's no reason to stop. And that's why everybody goes to MMA, because they want to make a living, they want to make a good, a, a good life, a good living. And I'm thinking about too, you know, I'm not different, so that's probably gonna, gonna do the transition like soon, but right now I feel like I'm having like the best time of my career you know, in Jiu Jitsu, so no reason to I stop right now so I'm gonna stick with what I'm doing and see for how long the good years still like raining you know for me yeah